There's been three days of panel discussions, breakout sessions, and presentation of papers for delegates to the 17th edition of the Africa Economic Conference on the island of Sal in Cabo Verde. Discussions on day three have focused on whether Africa is on the verge of a new debt crisis, with discussions faulting already existing structure, which they say would continue to keep the continent in debt. The point I've been trying to make throughout the conference is whether the economic, financial, trade architecture in its current form, with its current political and economic ideology and philo philosophy, is relevant or is still fit for purpose for Africa's transformation. Um, the entire week we have been talking about um, leveraging private finance, leveraging uh, different types of uh, financial instruments, and a lot of these instruments are about externalizing the financial burden or the financial uh, resource mobilization of, of African countries in the form of debt. And yet we do not have the infrastructure uh, in terms of policies, in terms of legal frameworks to su sustain and to protect African governments should there be shocks and crises that come in. During a special world, event States, titled, Is Africa China, Having a Currency Germany, and or Monetary France, Policy Spain, Issues? Italy. Governor of the Central Bank of Cabo Verde, Dr. Oscar Humberto Evora Santos, gave insight into why Cabo Verde has not joined any regional monetary union. We started in 1998. The Cabo Verde pegged its currency to the euro. That's a need for nominal anchor. And it liberalized the current account. And then in 2018, a free liberalization of financial accounts. And then the result, what we have, the inflation is clearly going down. Last year was about less than 1%. And the government, that's very important, can finance into this deficit capital markets at a 5 to 3% interest rate. Economists with the West Africa Monetary Institute believe that gunning for regional integration without nominal governance would only lead to failure. There are structural rigidities that we need solution to address. And the solution essentially lies squarely on the political leaders. If the leaders agree to come together and say, let's get this working, the issue of whether we have a different monetary union, the issue of whether you want to, whether you should delink and other shouldn't come with us, let's first of all, and more importantly, promote trade. The last day of the panel discussions and others held over the previous days are expected to set the tone for Africa's move to economic freedom and advancement. If we believe in the from the Africa the Economic Conference in Sao Cabo Verde, Ubani, um, Channel Television. One size.